Hello everyone, Stéphane Couture here with Evident Canada. And today let's discuss DLA and DMA probes. So uh, there is a vast offering out there in our brochure, ranging from smaller probes to bigger probes. And uh, a legitimate question is, well, what probe do I use when? Uh, what covers, what probe model covers what range of uh, thickness? And let's hopefully answer that question today. So I have three pro models with me today. First off, the A27, that is a four megahertz um, DMA, so dual matrix array. So in the active axis, active axis, there are 16 elements, and on the passive axis, three elements. So pitch of one millimeter and elevation of three times two, so six millimeters on the uh, passive axis. Uh, if we step up a little bit bigger, we have the A26. Again, four megahertz. Uh, the pitch remains one millimeter, but instead of uh, 16 elements, now we have 32 elements. This is a dual linear array, 32 pulsing, 32 receiving, one millimeter pitch, and 12 millimeter of elevation, so double uh, the size of the A27. And finally, uh, we also have the A36. That is a brand new probe, uh, and it's basically an elongated A26. So same four megahertz, same uh, element size, but instead of having 32 element pulsing, now we have 64 pulsing and 64 receiving. Um, for the test today, we also have this calibration block or this demonstration block, I should say. Uh, on this side, the material is stainless steel 316, 316. We have an Inconel weld, Inconel 625, and on this side, it's uh, carbon steel. So let's focus on the hard stuff over there. And as you see, we have a few uh, targets. So OD and ID notch on either side of the weld, uh, and side drill hole throughout the entire volume. So the configurations today are all going to be TFM, uh, simply to eliminate any um, shift in the result caused by focusing strategies. So obviously we can do and, and could, could can do a phase array with these probes. But as you may know, if you focus on one specific reflectors, uh, it will significantly degrade uh, the results or, or the signal on the other ones. So to eliminate that uh, shift in the results, let's uh, do some TFM. So as I move the probe, in its position. So what can we see? Uh, first of all, here in the uh, top of the signal, we have the notch, OD notch. That is actually uh, formed pretty well. This, this probe is designed for, for shallower inspections. Um, then we have the uh, volume or near side uh, side drill holes, maybe a little bit of uh, tip diffraction of the uh, ID notch. But so far, or, or really, the attention should be on the first, let's say, half uh, thickness of this block with the probe, uh, where we have good results. And the, uh, the middle, or let's say, uh, root side drill hole has been normalized to roughly 80% full screen height. By the way, this block is 100 millimeter thick or uh, roughly four inches. So that's the results with the A27. Now let's move on to the uh, A26. So I'm going here, open up my setup file, A26. Open, and as this loads, I'm going to change probe. And hopefully by the end of this video, there won't be any mix up in probe and cables. So connected, water, and here we go. So right away, what can we tell? Uh, we have a more consistent amplitude throughout the uh, near side side drill holes. We can still detect the uh, OD notch, not as efficiently as with the A27. This uh, probe and wedge combination is designed to be uh, 
natural focus depth of 40, 40 millimeter. So we get better results on the uh, side drill holes and also better results on the ID notch at the bottom here. But we, uh, to the detriment of the OD notch at the top. And finally, if we connect the A36, so probe, and I should probably load the set of file. A36. There we go. So this wedge, again, 55 degree uh, L wave. Actually, all wedges are 55 degree L wave designed to do. Um, and actually, I just spoiled it because it's not the right setup file. Uh, <laughs> we're going to move on to inspection from the side of the block as well. Uh, so I should have selected top with FD40 open. So as I was saying, all of the wedges are 55 degree L wave. They're designed for a focus depth of 40, 40 millimeter, except for the A27 that is designed for 15 uh, millimeter deep. So A36, we have it here. And if we move it in place, so center side drill hole normalized to 80% roughly. I can probably get it, but anyway. Uh, so what can we tell? 64 element pulsing instead of 32. We have a more refined or better resolved side drill holes. They're more uh, tight. They're less uh, elongated. Better response of the uh, ID or bottom notch. Top notch can still be detected but uh, I, I would recommend using the A27 for the whatever is near surface in either the A26 or A36 for the rest of the inspection. Uh, and that so far provides us the best results on the far side side drill hole as well. So as, uh, as you might have seen, uh, we can also test on the side of the block here. So just to have a longer sound path, and show you the difference. Uh, so those wedges are designed for a focus depth of 40 millimeters. We also have uh, bigger ones that are designed for a focus depth of 200. So through uh, mechanical angle or basically a wedge roof angle, we can move the natural focus uh, point of the probe. So let's jump back to the A26. Uh, just going to change the setup. So this time, Picking the right one. So A26 uh, is this one on the side. Uh, nope. And I apologize for this. A26 FD side. Okay, here we go. Move this out of the way. A26 connected. Uh, let's apply some gel and onto the side of the block. And I connected the A27. Uh, so, as I feared, too many probes, too many connections. There we go. So after uh, a few hiccups, we have signal. Um, that is quite noisy. Uh, we have on the far side, that would be uh, the, the side of our block. We can still detect the two notches, the uh, near side side drill holes. Far side uh, is starting to get a little bit more rough, but look at the noise level or the grass level. Uh, it's, it's fairly noisy out there to normalize the uh, center side drill hole to roughly 80% if, if I 
even if I even can bring it to 80 percent. Now let's see what happens with the A36. So open A36 uh, on the side of the block, FD40. So here. That is the A36. Little gel here as well. And off we go. So right away, uh, noise level is improved. Um, detection, well, it's roughly the same. We still have our notches as well as our uh, side drill hole in the middle, far side as well, um, so not ideal. That's why we also offer uh, the other wedges, the Focus Depth 200, to improve actually on this specific inspection. So let me just change those wedges, uh, unscrew the probe from the current one, recouple, and I'll get right back to you. All right, so we are back with new wedges. Uh, although they are very similar in look, uh, this one is the Focus Depth 200, FD200, compared to the other one that was the FD4040. Uh, so let's apply some coupling and go on the side of the block, just like we did uh, with the other wedge. See the difference. If I put it here, up and down, back and forth. Okay, so right off the bat, what can we tell? Um, still at about 80% full screen height on the uh, center side drill hole. Uh, SNR is definitely, definitely better. Uh, it has improved tremendously. Uh, less, uh, a lot of less grass or artifacts in the middle. Um, however, the uh, side drill holes as well as the notch are still uh, on the wider side. They're not as tight as they could be. So let's move on to the A36 with the FD200 wedge instead. So open the other set of file, SA36 FD200. That is the correct one. And I move the A36 probe far enough that I will not connect the wrong one by accident again. Thirty-six. Uh, bit of gel, and there we go. So, and uh, even though we're a bit hot, well, we used to be. Um, just look at the difference it makes on the side drill hole themselves, the notches, everything is much more compact, uh, better, uh, better represented, better characterized. Uh, we can almost, well, we're starting to see the corner trap versus tip diffraction on the, uh, the notch, left and right. The side drill hole are way better represented. So all in all, um, although there's a bit of overlap with the uh, A26 and A36 probe at about 40 to 50 uh, millimeter deep. Uh, they're, they're really characterized into three separate uh, thickness levels. The A27 is going to perform well or great actually up until the 25 millimeter bar, give or take. Uh, the A26 takes the relay. And then the uh, A36 is really uh, well suited for your very thick, a very uh, dense or deep uh, application needs. So hopefully that helps to clear things out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to, to myself or your local sales representative. Uh, there's documentation on all of this and uh, we'll be happy to help. Have a great day.